Hey guys, Shinechip here and welcome to a video. Today I'll be showing you a tutorial on how to use your Xbox One controller with on any game on PC. So what you want to first want to do, you want to download Xpadder. Um, link is in the description right here, just download it. There you go. Once you've downloaded that and drag it to your desktop or wherever you want, right click it go to properties this is you're on windows 8 and run it in compatibility mode windows 7 just click that and tick that box and apply you need to do this and i've just got to run this administrator because it's just quicker so when you do that you click run as administrator you need to do this and click yes then it'll find you'll see you're trying to find your controller xbox one controller um drivers already installed onto the newest versions of windows but what you have to do is get your controller as i'm doing right now and then plug it right in i've already got profiles and stuff ready for it to work and i'll show you what you have to do first so you're gonna plug it in then you have what you heard i plug it in run some errors because, oh yeah okay that's normal it might it's probably not gonna happen to you but it, it'll it's gonna work Open it here. Um, oh yeah, I moved it to the desktop. So at the desktop, you can open a controller thing. I've, I've got this ready for download, it's called my controller. Just click it, it says Xbox 360, but it doesn't matter, it looks it looks like that. See, like I'm moving. Yeah, so basically it's the same controller, it looks like that though. So if you want um, to change it, I believe you go here, you go to theme. And then, um, wait, no, that's it. Um, you go, so right here, you can see this, yeah? So then you're on the picture. So you're gonna click um, image, then that'll be loads here. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna go to the next web link, right here, um, all in the description. You will copy this, copy image, sorry, <coughs> sorry for that. And um, you go to, you go back on it, and then you click paste. Then it should do this. Then I have got a profile which means the triggers are already there. But it, you can do the 360 one if you want. If you're going to use both controllers. The 360 one needs drivers. I'll do a video on the 360 one soon. Just for you. Um, yeah, just five likes and I'll get it up. So there. You've got this. It doesn't have you roughly there. Just so you know where it is. And you click OK. And you've got this. So you know. Every time I click it, it'll do that. And everything. So you know. Stuff like that. Save that. And now you've got that. It's, it's good. It's going good so far. So now you want like how? Why is it not working? How can I not move in games? So in any game, say Minecraft for example, you use WASD for here. So I've already got. If you're going to use this for Minecraft, I've already got one you can download. Um, I've tweaked it, and so it's my personal preference. So you can you, you'll change it um, to your own controls. But this is rough on how to do it. WASD, and I do use this one for, to sprint right here. So that's why I use Q because that's why I don't PC. This is obviously um, right click, this is left click. Even though, okay, I've got it on rapid just because of what's um, called rapid. I don't know why I use that. I think I was experimenting, yeah. Then these do stuff that does F3 if you like. I'm not going to click it because I bet it does it. And then if you click shift, it holds it down, if you click this, it holds it down, so you don't have to do it for yourself. Same with tab, so you know, it's nice and that's what the blue line means. So, it's all like that, this is to change your items, everything like that. That's if you want Minecraft, you'll do this. And you can also, and if you want to change, um, so say you didn't want Q, and if you just double tap it, you just do that. Simple. But if you want, if you have it for a certain button, click it. Yeah, I'll hold keyboard, click anyone, that's what it'll go to. I even assign the keys. Now this one I got nothing. Uh, what would I want to go upwards for? F5, okay, put it on F5. Now every time I do that, I will do F5. So I click save, and after, every time you do a tweak, remember to click save. So when you've done that. And um, you've pretty much nearly done this. So now you minimize it right here, and then um, I'm only going to show you it works in a game right now, in Minecraft 1.8 or any. So yeah, I'll see you in the game. So yeah guys, I am back. Um, with, with, uh, with in the game, 
with my controls all working and everything like that. So yeah, so, so yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be good. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll test it like that. See, very smooth. It might be a bit laggy. I'm trying to use shade as well using well um, recording without with a very very bad recorder to record games with. But I don't record games with um, chemistry studios. So it works all cool and everything, nice, nice and normal. But I wouldn't recommend if you're just yeah, it's really smooth everything. But if you if you come from the console and you, you want to use this just to play, um, do go ahead. But I recommend learning PC controls. It's always fun to play around with a single player though. It works nice and smooth. If it if it lags, it's probably because my um this uh the recording thing, as I said. Shaders. So yeah, that's perfectly fine. Not to do anything. But I turned off the turbo because it like it makes it lag when you punch. I think it breaks everything inside. And it's like every millisecond it punches. So it just basically click it and it goes like faster. Not good. I wouldn't recommend using it. Not even on like card games. You probably get banned because like more good. So yeah, this is this is how it works. Pretty good. You can use it for any. Like, yeah. I'm clicking the controls now, and it does that. Cause now that's when you have to use the keyboard to so just escape. See, look. As I see, oh uh, look, one click, and it's shifting. So yeah, controls work perfectly fine. Any game. If you're if you're playing on like Call of Duty or anything, then it'll have in-game pads that you can use. Um, if it's like World of War, I've already done a turn on World of War. If you're, if you're on Black Ops 1 and 2, they've got a gamepad built in you can use. Uh, the next tutorial I'll be doing is how to use an Xbox 360 controller for any game, like just like this, but you're in, it takes some drivers to install. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hope to see you in the next tutorial and I'm out. Bye!